I have coffee. Let's do some patching. In this video, what I want to do is demonstrate a potential way to hook up the Model D uh, in sort of Euro rack uh, sort of format so the model d and the neutron they'll both you know you can unscrew them and take them out of their enclosures and put them into a euro rack case i don't know whether that's the same with the k1 and the pro k2 and the pro one um possibly possibly in the cat maybe you know those kind of sort of desktop module desktop format synthesizers from behringer um but certainly yeah with with, with the d and the neutron you can do that you can do that and there are various videos are out, uh, out there in the internet where people have done that uh, I was watching one this morning. Um, here's a picture. Uh, but a bit, a bit, yeah. So today, what I want to do is show how I would hook up my Model D to, to my modular rig. Um, no USB, no MIDI. So doing it all with control voltages. Um, very cool. Um, yeah. So this is this. So essentially, this is the Model D in sort of Euro rack mode. All right. Let's get into it. All right. So uh, part one. Uh, just setting up the nifty case so um if you can see here i'm pointing i've got my the cv1 of the nifty case is going into my dope for uh vco and the gate um is going to my dofa adsr envelope so far so normal um and i'm also I'm modulating pulse, the pulse width, because uh, I'm using a square wave, using the Behringer 150. And I'm using the tipped up audio to give me some reverb. And that sounds like this. Right, happy days, part one. So now we're going to patch in the Model D. So the, the Nifty bundle has two um, sort of pairs of CV and gate. Um, so if you just look down here, so out of CV2, um, we've got this cable, and out of gate two, we've got this cable. So I'm just going to move the phone camera. Okay, so over in, in D World, um, the CV controller is going into uh, this patch cable there. Yeah, it says oscillator one volt for per octave. And the gate is going into LC gate. Now, if you don't have the gate uh, engaged, it won't work because obviously. <laughs> Trust me, <laughs> I was playing with this last night, getting a bit frustrated. But um, yeah, if you think about it logically, you're sending voltage to it, but because you're not sending any MIDI to it, the sort of the gate doesn't know what to do. It doesn't know whether to open or close in terms of you know letting through the the signal. So that's why you need the gate as well. Um, yeah, so that goes into LC gate. Okay, let's just flip over to my, yep. So then over in Reaper, um, I've then got a different ARP set up that I'm sending to the Nifty, but that's on channel two. So then that, so that comes out of CV2 and gate two on the Nifty bundle and goes to the Model D. And that sounds like this. There we go. Oh, you're not hearing that. That sounds like this. Uh, and that's got some lexicon reverb. So just that's a triangle wave. Um, now what it says oscillator one frequency. Well, the question is, does that voltage control apply to oscillator two and three? oscillator 2 
<laughs> that's an attitude oscillator three. So yes, it does. So that patching point, uh, one volt per octave, that will apply to all three of your oscillators. And to noise. Let's just use oscillator one, that's fine. Give it a bit more oomph. Great. So now, just to wrap this up, um, we can mix in the original channel one of the nifty bundle, but uh, to sort of give it sort of uh, some, some completeness. Um, I'm taking the main audio, not the main audio, the, like the patching audio out from the Model D. Um, move the phone camera back to the Nifty Bundle and I'm going in uh, essentially line two or in, in audio in two of my VCA which means then I can mix in, um, yeah, so, 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 so everything is going to the Model D and from the Model D to the, to, to the little modular rig. So then, and then therefore we can then mix in that original ARP and it all sounds really, really nice. So let's just play the original, the, the Model D ARP. Uh, and we can't hear that because my because my VCA is all the way down. There we go. So we can control the Model D volume from my VCA, and you can hear very quietly in the background because I've got my VCA, the main kind of volume up, just a little bleed through of the of the the, the dope for. Um, oscillator as well. But that's okay because we can dial that back in. Let's get the D back in. And I'm just reining in my original, my, my dope for um, <laughs> oscillator with a filter, but we can dial that back in. And then obviously we could do things like we've got the external audio in over on the D there. So then we could take like the sculpt, say like a digital synth or, 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 a, or, or a Volca or a drum machine and go into the audio in of the D. Or, you know, if you had um, some kind of mixer set up on your little, on the little modular rig, um, you could then, you know, mix in a um, little drum machine um, to, to, to to, to your mod modular signal and have everything coming through that um, yeah interesting possibilities so there we go there we go there we go there we go let's just uh, let's just listen to this loveliness a bit more let's wind it up there so hopefully I've demonstrated well a, a possible configuration of the Model D uh, if you were to use it in sort of Euro rack mode um, 
obviously the, the, the D, same as a neutron, you can unscrew it from its housing and, and put it in a put it in a sort of uh, a Euro rack case. Um, and I think sort of the configuration I've shown you today, you know, it, it that 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 would work, right? That would work. Um, but I'm also thinking that I might you just keep this configuration right because then I save a USB port I don't have to I don't have to send you know I don't have to use a USB port to send MIDI to my Model D um, and I save a MIDI port either because I don't or I don't send a MIDI uh, signal to, um, to 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 the to the Model D um, so that saves me ports, which is a nice thing. So it just means just so that 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 nifty bundle, nifty case, just becomes the kind of you know the the, the brains of the operation, just to send kind of um, MIDI and control voltages around the studio. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Uh, and also being able to mix the signal back into the nifty bundle. Um, and thinking about that by having you know that tip top audio really nice effect it was digital effect but really nice digital effect very versatile um, I have just ordered a little mixer module for the you know euro rack thing so yeah I'm thinking that that little nifty case can be a real kind of you know center of operations where I can sort of send signals from and then mix signals back in because the same should be true of the neutron as well I should be able to send control voltages to the neutron and then back again to the, to the nifty case um, and then everything's controlled from my DAW through the USB port fantastic oops fantastic anyway that's all let's wrap this up if you're new here you're very welcome hello um, that's what we do here we play with synths and guitars and sometimes basses um, I think um, there's a few more patching to be done on the Model D, but I might uh, I might explore some other bits of equipment and and uh, you know now we're in this world of sort of playing with control voltages. There could be some interesting uh, things to explore there. For example, a doorless setup with the Model D or or, or the Neutron. Um, all right, cheers, folks. Take care.